been like for you so far? I know it's only been a day, but just what was that first day like to get out there and work with everybody? What was your experience like so far? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first day was good. It was fun. It was it was really fun. Uh, a little bit nerve wracking. All the coaches being around. Uh, I think I think today I'll probably settle in a little bit better. But you know, it was fun. What were your expectations, kind of goals coming into the week to show some of these scouts? Um, I don't know if I had uh, to show it. Just just to show a little bit of consistency through everything that I do uh, each rep. Just try to learn as much as possible. So. <laughs> Coming, you know, coming out of college, you know, primarily right tackle. Do you want to be able to display that you can play both sides of the line, or are you just kind of like, no, right tackle is my niche? So you want to show that you can also play both sides too? Yeah, yeah. So I, I played, I played left side last year all year. So uh, it just, it was kind of, it was the best fit for the team this year to play right, and that's kind of what I ended up doing. Uh, either or is kind of, it's, a, it's fine. It's just right tackle has been. The most experience I've had. Was it how big of an adjustment is it to make the leap from right to left? I mean, people act like it's just a tackle, but there's definitely differences. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely different. As long as you have a little bit of time to adjust to it, um, it goes pretty smoothly. As long as you've been transitioning back and forth, it's pretty good. Um, trying to do it on the fly can be a little bit challenging, but it's all, as long as you've been. Yeah. Have you gotten any feedback from coaches or anything about like, oh, we want to see you walk both sides, or people like you, you're pretty prominent right tackle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, uh, obviously, you would know that I play mostly right tackle. I mean, that's where I've been at uh, mostly throughout my college. Besides having a full year left, um, I think coaches just want to see versatility in, in any player. Um, as you know, there's not there's only 50, uh, 52 men, uh, 53 men on the roster. Or, so, I mean, having versatility at O-line, I mean, it's, it's a have to, it's a have to. Is there anything that you're really wanting to, like, one specific thing that you're really wanting to accomplish during, the, during this week, whether it's, I really want to show them, you know, footwork, just whatever it is, is there one specific thing you're trying to accomplish? Uh, probably, again, just consistency uh, throughout all of camp, just showing, I mean, I, I, I think my, my ability and stuff is going to speak for itself, but just sustaining that throughout the entire week. Have you met with all 16 teams yet that, that have been here? Uh, I, think, I think so. We did We did a lot of interviews. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I've done every team. Did you get a chance to uh, talk to the Steelers and maybe Mike Tomlin? And take away from uh, I, think, I think we had a few words um, during practice yesterday. Um, but yeah, I've talked, to, I've talked to the Steelers a little bit um, during interviews and stuff. What's that like for you to have like a head coach as High profile as Mike Tomlin, just kind of being there, sticking his nose in, enjoying getting to you know be right there for like a one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool watching him, watching him enjoy you know some O line play. Um, like that was he showed a lot of love. Um, it was it was pretty enjoyable.